Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. I received a message um, yesterday from a brother, and this topic I want to speak about is the evil eye. Now, I've spoken about it in the past, but um, I constantly get messages from people stating, you know, what do I do with the evil eye? And I want to make another video just to remind people what they can do for prevention of the evil eye. And um, what I'm going to tell you is uh, things from the Sunnah of the Prophet These are authentic hadith. And also, I'm going to mention things from the Quran. Now, as you all know, the evil eye is haq, my brothers and sisters. But you need to understand, it's majority of the time of the evil eye happening is from your own doing. We live in a generation now where the shaitan has made everything easy for us. In a sense where we can expose our lives to everyone and people can know what we're doing and what we have and our successes and our materialism, everything that we can show it in, a, in, a, in basically one click. And that's through social media, that's through WhatsApp. And the reason why I say majority of the times it's our fault or we get the evil eye is because we as insan, we as human beings like to show off. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Everyone likes to show off. Everyone likes to show others that look what I've got. You know, everyone likes to flaunt the success. It's in our nature to do this thing. But the problem is when you do this thing and you show the world or you show your family or your friends, I've got this, I've got that, I've got this going, I'm succeeding, I've got money, I've got this car, I've got children. There's someone out there that doesn't have. So there are people with haves and have nots. And the ones with the have nots, when they see the success that you have, when they see something that they don't have and you have it, they get envious. And this is how you can get the evil eye. So the first thing you need to do, my brothers and sisters, which I believe is very hard, especially in this generation, because of all of the social media that we have, is stop showing everyone what you have. Live a private life. If you got wealth, you don't need to flaunt it. You don't need to be Floyd Mayweather and show everyone, look what I've got, look what I can buy. If you've got cars or you know materialism, anything, what's all matter? You don't need to flaunt it. Nowadays, if a woman gets a handbag straight away, bang, it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook. The, the bag hasn't even left the store yet. They're taking photos in the store. Whether it's bags, whether it's shoes, whether whatever, whatever it could be. We like to flaunt, it's in our nature to show off. We love the attention, you know, but this is going to be your downfall. When you flaunt everything and you show the world, look what I've got, you can't say, why do I get the evil eye? So number one, you have to live a private life. Not everyone's going to be happy for you. And you'll be surprised. You can have friends, family members envious of you. And you can't blame them. Because, you, like I said, there are people that are, have and there's those that, that have not. They don't have. And to those that don't have, when they say that you got something that they, that they don't want, of course they're going to get envious. You know, it's some people they just can't swallow it. They said they said that you got something going good, they're going to get envious. So, my brothers and sisters, do your best to live a private life. And I'm going to bring a story from the Quran, from Surah Yusuf, regarding living a private life and what I'm talking about when I say private life. Now, our Prophet Yaqub. He found that his son Yusuf, in English, Prophet Joseph, was going to become a prophet through his prophetic dream that he had. And he told his father, he said, Father, I had this dream. And he explained the dream to him in detail. The first thing our Prophet Yaqub said to him, do not, convey, do not convey your dream to your brothers. Because they're going to be envious of you. Now, what happened is that his brothers found out now this is blood brothers, these are the sons of the prophet. You know what I'm saying? Forget what your family members, imagine being a son of a prophet. These are the sons of the prophet. They got envious of him. And what did they do to the prophet uh, Yusuf? They threw him down the well. So you need to understand, this is an example in the Quran from our own prophet Yaqub saying do not convey, and I'm telling you also, do not publish your life to the world. What you've got going, keep it to yourself. Number two, there are steps we can we can all take as a prevention for the evil eye. You can read Surah Al-Akhlas. You can read Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falak. 
وكل اعوذ برب الناس read an age three times on your hand this is what the prophet used to do in authentic hadith bukhari he used to read each one three times on his hand in the morning blow his hand and rub it all over his body and he used to do it before he's to sleep so that's one step he can make also there's a dua that the prophet used to make all the time is a'uzu bi kalimati allahi tamma min kulli shaytanin wa hamma wa min kulli aynin lamma this is basically saying, Ya Allah, protect me from the shayateen, protect me from the jinn, and protect me from the evil eye. And this dua you can make in the morning and also before you sleep. But like I said, my brothers and sisters, you need to put the action in. You know, if you're living a life, and may Allah bless everyone out there. I ask Allah to bless everyone out there and give barakah. But if you're living a life, you have to understand, there's those that have nots. There's those less fortunate than you. So when you're flaunting everything and people are seeing what you've got, what you purchase, how many kids you have, how much money you have, and you're showing the world, look where I am, I'm on holidays, I'm here, I'm there. People are going to get envious, whether you like it or not. So you need to learn to live a private life. You need to learn, you know, like I said, الاخلاص, three times, uh, read it three times on your hand, blow it all over your body in the morning, again at night. And the dua I said to make is عوذ بكلمات الله تامة من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة. If anyone out there wants me to send it to him via inbox, I'm happy to do so also. So these are the steps you need to make, my brothers and sisters. And inshallah, I ask Allah to protect us from the evil eye and to protect us from those that are envious and to protect us from the shayateen and the jinn. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi